Yes. My name is You Know Who, and I'm the author of You Know What. I'm also a professor of psychology in several universities, which will remain unnamed. My name is Sam Vaknin. I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited, and I'm a professor of psychology in a variety of academic establishments on several continents. And if this sounds impressive, wait till you listen to the video. And today we're going to start, as promised, with perverts. Are we on? Oh my God! Oh, wait a minute. I don't believe in God. The main problem with Sunday is that it is the day before Monday. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna give you four keys to a successful long-term relationship with a loving, empathic, holding and warm partner. In short, with someone like me. Okay, dudes and dudettes, kids and kidettes, babies and bebets. Today I have a special treat for you. I'm going to spend the first 10 minutes of this video venting big time. You like to see me vent, don't you? Anyhow, listen, I, I got to go. I have a, a video to make. So thank you for the news and and we'll be in touch. I call you I call you on Thursday. I call you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh there you are. I've been looking for you all over the place. It may come as a shock to you, but I do read some of your comments. Don't get your hopes too high. I read some of your comments before I delete them. Generally, it's a pleasure to delete your comments, but sometimes I get stuck on something that looks interesting. So there was a comment the other day. Someone had the temerity. Look it up online. Temerity. Someone had the temerity to suggest that there is a field or a topic or a theory in psychology of which I'm not aware. Didn't she realize that I'm the perfect genius? That I know absolutely everything? That God consults me when he is not sure or when there's no article in Wikipedia? Just kidding. Of course she knows all this. And I must say I love this pandemic. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. I've been wearing a mask all my life. You may not have noticed, but I am wearing my Count Dracula outfit. This is the third video of the day. I am testing your resilience and your inner strength. My name is Sam Vaknin, and last time I checked, I was the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited, and, yes, you got it right, a series of books and e-books about personality disorders and other topics. Aren't you bored with this introduction? It puts me to sleep. So, today, um, Minnie and I are celebrating. And no, we are not celebrating our anniversary, which is something we will not do on camera. We are celebrating the opening of a new YouTube channel. Someone sent me a link to a YouTube channel titled, called, Sam Vaknin Antichrist. Antichrist! Me! I have arrived! I finally made it! I am the American Jewish success story! 
And for those of you who consider videos longer than 30 seconds, onerous. Those of you who can't stand videos longer than 30 seconds, judging by your comments, the vast majority of you. Um, the answer to this video is a resounding yes. Read the title, the answer is yes. And now you can proceed to your favorite pastime, which is cats jumping off hot tin roofs. The only reason you're watching these videos is to catch me committing an error, to catch me making a mistake. I know it. And I'm not mistaken at least about this. So let's tackle today's crop before we revert to the topic of the video. I've received several comments, emails and two carrier pigeons in bad shape with messages that I'm mispronouncing serotonin. I'm pronouncing it as serotonin. And the, the accepted pronunciation is indeed serotonin. But it's wrong. Exactly as you wouldn't say adrenaline, you, wouldn't, you should not say serotonin. And so, from now on it's serotonin, but you should know that properly it should have been serotonin, exactly like adrenaline. In Latin, the word evil is malum. And the word apple is malum, malum, malum. And people confused it when they wanted to say that Eve, Eve handed evil to Adam. They said that she handed him malum, an apple. Because I am developing a strong yet well substantiated suspicion that Jordan Peterson is stalking me. Look at the facts. He had resigned his post in the University of Toronto. He went on to Russia, where I'm teaching. He couldn't find me there. So he ended up in Serbia. And need I tell you, Serbia is just across the border from where I am. So the fact that I'm a paranoid doesn't mean that Peterson is not after me. But The thing is, I'm a bit eccentric, which is a politically correct way of saying that I'm totally nuts. Minnie keeps telling me that my sense of humor is worse even than her coffee, which is not an easy accomplishment, and that I'm an arrogant prick. Luckily for you, as opposed to Minnie, you are faced only with the arrogant bit of this expression, not with a second word and I promise to never expose you to this unsavory, traumatic experience. Abraham Lincoln, the President of the United States, had a saying, I don't like that man, so I must get to know him better. Lincoln was of course referring to me, but inconsiderately he got himself assassinated before we had the chance to socialize and get to know each other better and before he had the chance to like me even less. Honest Abe was a contemporary of mine. No way, you say, you can't be that young. Yes, brethren, yes, sistren, I am as old as the Civil War, and some people say that I'm even older. All I know is that my birth certificate is printed on a papyrus. What am I on about? Perchance, Mini spiked my java? Could well be. And you really don't like me, especially if you're a woman. I make your, your skin crawl. I make you lose your breakfast and then some every time I pollute your screen. I'm a one-man bulimic diet. Okay. Enough with jokes, let's get to the business of teaching you students. 